dead bodies of soldiers everywhere. As Simon Ekpa's boys reportedly killed many soldiers in deadly attack. Oro. Dead bodies of soldiers everywhere. As Simon Ekpa boys reportedly killed many soldiers in deadly attack. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, kindly stay tuned as I read today's news. Violence has erupted again in southeastern Nigeria. As the Biafra Liberation Army claimed responsibility for the death of multiple Nigerian soldiers. This incident is the latest in a series of attacks by separatist groups advocating for independence. The Biafra Liberation Army, the armed wing of the Biafran independence movement, has been implicated in various attacks on Nigerian security forces and government facilities. A key figure in the movement announced the attack on social media, sparking online debate among pro Biafran supporters. The quest for Biafran independence has gained momentum in recent years, driven by effort in driven by effort to ignite calls for self-determination. However, this resurgence has taken a violent turn with advocates promoting armed resistance against the Nigerian state. The Nigerian government faces a dual challenge, maintaining national unity while addressing long-standing grievances fueling separatist sentiment. The ongoing violence highlights the urgent need for dialogue and peaceful resolution to address historical and social political issues dividing pro biafran activists and the Nigerian state. As tensions escalate, both sides remain entrenched, with separatist groups asserting their rights to self-determination and the government striving to uphold national integrity. The situation remains fluid and without concerted effort toward reconciliation, the cycle of violence may persist. The conflict has also seen the formation of alliances between separatist groups. Furthermore, the Nigerian Navy has begun patrolling the Niger River to prevent separatist elements from infiltrating the region. The international community has taken notice with concerns growing about the potential for further violence and the need for a peaceful resolution. In recent months, the conflict has intensified with multiple attacks on security personnel and government facilities. A lasting solution will require addressing the underlying issues driving the separatist movement, including economic marginalization, political exclusion, and cultural suppression. Until then, the region remains on edge, bracing for the next escalation in the conflict. The humanitarian situation continues to, to deteriorate, with civilians caught in the crossfire. 
the Nigerian government and separatist groups must engage in meaningful dialogue to resolve the differences peacefully. The situation in southeastern Nigeria remains complex and volatile with no clear resolution in sight. However, one thing is certain. The violence must end to prevent further suffering and instability in the region. So my dear listeners, now I've come to the end of our today's news and now before I go. I must really say, violence will not sort Biafra's issue. Violence would not make them achieve whatever they have been aspiring, whatever they might, they might have been aspiring for. Because anything that has to come to violence has to do with war. And do you expect the Nigerian government to settle for less? No. But personally, I, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to say anything against the Biafran government. But sincerely, um, Simon Ekpal is just trying to make things worse. Even it is written there that they claimed they were the one that killed those military personnel. Where is that done? Once you kill the military, once you start killing the, 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 the government properties, then definitely you are writing a letter to war. And it is horror. It is evil. Sending, sending the Biafra army to kill, to kill the Nigerian, to, to kill the Nigerian uh, security agencies. To me, it doesn't speak well of them. And it's all shades of all wrong. It doesn't make sense at all, to, to, to be honest. And I think there should be a better way for fighting for freedom instead of killing. 